Memorial Day weekend, but did not go over budget. So my name is Vanessa and every single Saturday I share my grocery haul and meal plan for my family of six. This week I went to HEB. Typically I go to HEB. Sometimes I go to other grocery stores, but I'm definitely in love with HEB and what it has to offer. I got a pretty good deal. I'm excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up and then we're going to go into the meal plan. Okay, you guys, so I had $80 left in my budget for this month, and this was just under 54. So like every single video, I will have the budget all broken out by week down in the description box so you guys can see what the damage was. But again, this was all under $54. So we'll start with the produce. I got this super sized seedless watermelon, and it came with, if you bought the super sized watermelon, you got the watermelon knife for free. I thought that was pretty pretty cute. Just a fun little thing to have a knife specifically for your watermelon. So that was awesome because watermelon was on my list anyway. I love how HEB does that. They do a lot of freebies. You buy this, you get this for free and they have a lot of in-store coupons. So another thing I'll go over in a minute. These lemons are actually not for us. <laughs> they are going to the school. My son Bryce is in second grade and they are doing something fun next week and each child needed to bring in something different. So I picked up a dozen lemons for him. They ended up being $4 total for the whole bag. Um, so these are again, not staying here. These are going to school. Got some celery sticks for snacking on some. Again, I got the organic strawberries. I actually could not find any regular strawberries anywhere. They only had the organic, but they still smell just as good as last week. I did only get one because I, got, I feel like I got a lot of stuff going on here and I didn't want any of them to go bad. So one pound container of strawberries. I did get some of these small snack sized apples. The kids go through phases where they like apples, they don't like apples, and it has been a while. So I picked up those. Then I got some angel sweet tomatoes for snacking on and some blueberries for snacking on. So that is it for the produce. Oh, I almost forgot the cucumber. I got a cucumber. Typically I get the long English cucumbers, but they were completely out. So this cucumber is cheaper, but I just prefer the, the seedless ones. This was only 48 cents. Okay, so I only need one sour cream. However, there was a coupon that if you bought two, you got a dollar off and these were $1.98. So I figured I'm constantly picking up sour cream. It lasts for a while. I mean, the date on here is August 12th. So as long as I don't open one, it will be fine. So I went ahead and saved the dollar right now since I know that I'm constantly picking this up. Then of course, in every single grocery haul, the Yo Crunch M&M Low Fat vanilla yogurt that my kiddos enjoy. Then speaking of kiddos, we did spend a little bit of our budget on sushi. My daughter Pearl loves sushi. This is not something we pick up for her all the time. It was $5.49, but since it is the weekend and we were at HEB, figured I would go ahead and get her lunch for tomorrow. All right, we got a can of refried beans. This is actually for a dip that I'm gonna be making. And all right, you guys, I need your suggestions on this. So, um, my kids love Nutella. We use it on several different items, but we don't eat it all the time and it lasts for a while. We're completely out and I was looking all over the place for the best I could possibly get, um, for the kids. And this was the best thing that I could find. So this is, it says peanut butter, but it's dark chocolate. So pretty much chocolate peanut butter. So Nutella pretty much. Um, and let me show you guys, let's see if I can get it to focus on the nutrition facts. All right, there we go. So here's some of the nutrition facts on here. Seven grams of sugar. I mean, the other ones, Nutella, it was like 21 and like 20 or 30 carbs or something. So definitely lower in carbs and sugar. Um, and then ingredients on all the other ones and name brands, sugar was the first ingredient. And this one, it says peanuts and then cane sugar. So I know you guys can't see those. There we go. Ingredients that, but that good, but let me know if you guys use or have found anything in place of Nutella that's a little bit better. Um, so I just picked this up to give this a try for them. And then last week for lunch, I had fish tacos for about the first time ever. I don't, I didn't realize I was missing out. And in that food delivery kit, it had this 
chipotle seasoning for the fish tacos and I saw this and I was like yes this is something I want to have on hand <laughs> so went ahead and gonna give this a try it's southwest chipotle ranch dressing but I figured um, we could give that a try on some things that we're gonna be having this week then a gallon of milk the chips are actually for the dip also um, that I'm going to be making for Memorial Day when we hang out with family and have a barbecue and then the kids are out of juice boxes plus there's gonna be a couple extra kids for Memorial Day so I went ahead and picked up these kinds so typically Apple and Eve is the brand of juice boxes that we get for the kiddos but again I'm trying to find things that have less sugar in them and these are both water flavors so let me know what you guys get for your kids if you have a favorite that you enjoy and that they like I got the two different kinds so they could try them and tell me which one they like better this one has zero everything in it it's basically just lightly flavored water I got it in berry it's by rethink and it says zero sugar zero calories and zero sodium this one does have a little bit in here so on the front it says 15 calories per box and three grams of sugars but it is flavored water also um, just a little you know extra in here so this is the strawberry so let me know what you guys get for your kiddos as far as um, juice boxes and Nutella type items are concerned because I'm definitely trying to find one something that's the kids are gonna like but two that are a little bit you know better for them in the long run so that is everything I got for just under $54 at HEB for this week Okay, so this is going to be the meal plan for May 26th to June 1st. So I did write down breakfast, lunch, and dinners. I feel like I've been getting pretty good at that. So we're gonna start with Sunday the 26th. For breakfast, we're gonna have eggs and bacon. And I put a dash for lunch because I don't think we're gonna eat lunch. I think we're gonna have kind of like a early or late lunch, early dinner. Um, we're doing a barbecue with family. We're having a lot of family members over. So we're gonna have, you know, just a big old fun pool party. So we'll be snacking kind of all day long. So I didn't plan for lunch, just dinner. Monday the 27th, we're gonna do pancakes and fruit for breakfast because the kids do not have school. So I'll make you bigger breakfast that day. Lunch is gonna be um, chicken stir fry. Oh, and for the lunches, I just wrote what my husband and I are gonna have, not the kids, um, because they kind of have little things. I pull things together all the time. I don't really plan their lunches out. Um, so we're gonna have chicken stir fry. For dinner, we're gonna have this caprese mac and cheese. So this is the last meal um, delivery kit that I'm getting in. It is from Plated, and I am really excited about all these dinners. So that's gonna be the first one that we're trying. Tuesday the 28th, we're gonna do yogurt and granola for breakfast. For lunch, I'm gonna make a an adult homemade Lunchable. And then dinner, we're gonna have shrimp rigatoni. Oh, like all of these plated dinners look really good. Wednesday the 29th for breakfast, we're gonna have a smoothie. And this should be like the last set of smoothies that we have, and then we're gonna be completely out. Lunch, I was really digging those fish tacos the last time I made them, or first, last, first time I ever made them. Super, super good, still on my mind. And I do have a little bit of fish in my freezer, so I'm gonna make some again, and I'm really excited. Hopefully, they taste just as good as the last one. And then dinner, we're gonna do zucchini and tomato orzo, and that is the last. I'm only getting three from Plated. Thursday the 30th, we're gonna do oatmeal for breakfast. Lunch, it's gonna be another homemade Lunchable, an adult Lunchable. Dinner is gonna be fried chicken and potatoes with just cucumber and tomato tomato salad and this is just I cut up a cucumber I half some of those cherub tomatoes and I put one of the um, nor seasoning packets on it super super easy Friday the 31st this is the last Friday of school they only have um, two and a half days next week of school that is crazy so I figured we would start the last weekend before the last few days of school um, off with a bang and go to the donut shop and do donuts for breakfast. So I thought that would be fun. Lunch, I put leftovers because I really want to start the summer out with a clean fridge because I do feel like I'm going to go to the store and stock up and do some bulk shopping and just get nice and prepped for the summer. So I want to make sure that we spend the weekend cleaning it out. 
So I've got leftovers for lunch and then dinner. If we don't eat out, uh, well, if we have enough food, I'm gonna do some kind of shipwreck. Otherwise we will eat out and Fridays are typically when I go to the grocery store. Um, so Saturday, we're gonna do some grits for breakfast and then lunch and dinner. I wrote leftovers because I'm really not sure how much we're gonna have food-wise left over. But again, I really wanna just start fresh in June and clean out the fridge, wipe it out, do some like deep spring cleaning before summer begins and all of that good stuff. So that is what I have on the meal plan for ending out the month of May. Okay, so there was my grocery haul and my meal plan. Um, I still get questions about my meal planner. So I do have a code down below and the link if you guys wanna check it out. It gets you 10% off if you put in my code Lemonade Mom. but my meal planner is from Cariel love the meal planner I actually did a separate video on it so i will make sure that i have that linked up in the cards um but i love it and i still i get questions about it all the time so i figured i should start pointing that out that link is always in the description box if you guys are ever curious about something and it's not in the description box then just leave me a comment and i will try to help out or answer as best as i can so if you guys enjoyed this ending out the month and my budget we're going to start fresh next week I give this video a big thumbs up i have a few fun plans for this summer and um, a new series coming up so i'm really excited about that i would love for you guys to stick around so hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one